What's up guys, it's your boy Kazaris. Finally back, uh, just in time for these new Shadal cards. Can't wait to play Cosmo. I'm gonna try out Magical Musketeers. I'm gonna be pumping out some Duel Links videos hopefully here. So, um, at the moment we have this new Shadal deck. I stole it from Sun Sun, uh, basically, uh, his list. More or less, I cut a construct and put in a Wendigo. Just because I wanted the win target, protecting something from battle for a turn is really nice too, just to live. Um, but other than that, uh, it's it's exactly the same, same main deck and stuff. So three Reliona, unfortunately, like I see most builds are playing it just because it, it makes sense. It's crazy good. It's a normal summon that adds a fusion spell and is also light. Um, so it gives you a good normal summon. It gives you access to construct easily. Um, it's uh, all around just a great card. Um, you have the Rush It All Windy, three of this one. Uh, it's wind, so you can't use, you can use it to make Wendigo. Uh, otherwise it has to be the Shadal part of the Construct and Winda. Uh, and then you have to use the appropriate type. But it summons a Shadal and face down defense, which is typically Hell Shadal Hollow, just cause it's a huge body. Uh, it, is, it is technically removal, but you have to send the same attribute as a monster that you're trying to banish. Uh, so, kind of not, but still a huge body. You can also summon Shadal Dragon for a bounce, or Skolmata for a pop, or Hedgehog for a search, um, or Hound for an add back. So, like, you have a bunch of targets, but typically it's Hell Shadal Hollow, not always. Uh, the Hound is cool because typically this card's bad, but it is recursion, uh, and if you send it, you can immediately flip summon the monster that you set off Wendy, which is kind of the play. So like if you fuse with uh, Reliona and Wendy for Construct, um, you can go Construct to send Wendy to summon. Wendy can summon the, sh the Hollow and Construct can send the Hound and then Hound can immediately flip Hollow. Uh, you can banish something and then just like immediately attack for game, something like that. Um, El Shadal Fusion is really cool just to do some battle phase tricks as well. Uh, to fuse for game and stuff like that. Uh, the the skill Shadow Weaving Power uh, it puts Winda into your extra deck and then three copies of Shadow Fusion and one Shadow Schism into your main deck. So you're playing with a 24 card deck. So um, it's a little bit less consistent than it looks. Uh, the one Etelli to summon the Wendy. Um, it's nice just to have an extender sometimes, uh, just so you can like summon Wendy, normal a Shadow, and then either make Shadow Construct. Um, or Phoenix to pop a back row before committing for a play, which is kind of nice. So, so you can get like special Wendy, um, normal uh, Shadal, and then make Construct. Now this can be a fusion. So if you don't have a fusion spell, this is essentially a fusion spell with any other Shadal. You can make this, which says during your main phase, you can just activate it as polymerization. And then this will be the light for Construct and then you can use another Shadal. So if it's like Etelli three Shadals, you at least have a way to play. Um, if it's a bunch of Shadals and El Shadal Fusion, um, the Artemis lets you normal summon any of the dolls and turn them into a light monster, which is really cool. Uh, so you definitely need to play at least the Artemis. I saw a negative ones build played more traps and no construct uh, or Grista, and he added Arcanite and uh, Arwas, the, yeah, the Magistus Fusion. Uh, so I might try that one, uh, but I just wanted to play this one for the video because I've been playing with this one a little bit. Uh, Gravity Controller lets you make Construct in the EMZ send Schism. Then you can link off Construct for Gravity Controller, add back Schism, and that gives you a light and a dark for Winda. Uh, typically you're not fusing with this though if you don't have to because it is a cool body to have. Um, but you definitely need this one because it's your access to Schism. And Phoenix is nice because it's... A way to push through back row, and it also gives you an extra deck access to a fire monster for Grista, which is definitely nice. Um, it's kind of hard to fuel Grista sometimes, uh, just because like you don't always want to have a card in hand that you want to discard, uh, but most of the time you do. Um, and it's just negate. It's just a solemn warning. So if your opponent would summon from like the extra deck, you can just negate it, which is cool. Uh, once per turn, unfortunately, but it also floats just like constructs, so that's always nice. They all float, so. We all float down here, so it's pretty uh, pretty consistent. I really, I really don't brick. Like every hand is able to do something for almost always. I did open like triple El Shadal Fusion once, or I guess with the 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 four cards that are added, you can open like multiple fusion spells, no monsters, so it can brick. But 
Um, it's not too terribly prone to breaking, which is nice. So, with that being said, let's just jump right into a match. I'm unfortunately in gold, so hopefully we can <laughs> quickly get some decent ones here. All right, up against a Sarah. What's she on then? For a second. Shadow weaving power. I like this hand's crazy. We drew the hollow, which is fine. I can use it to make Grista as well. Um, but if you do cut the Grista, it's definitely probably worth cutting this. I, I, well, I, want, I want to try the Falco for sure. What the hell is this? Constellar. Oh, so this is a new skill. The required tribute is not needed. Yep. That's always been the terrible thing about Constellars is that they're all, the only good ones are like level 5. <laughs> like, so you sent Sombra and Sheraton, normal summon Zubinesh, Lamele, add a Constellar to hand. Nice. So add Razzle Hog, Razzle Hag, Caduce, Caducus, Caduceus, uh, special summon, and then he adds Star Chart. Okay, so then I'll get a draw. Okay, following. So you can treat these as whatever he wants, basically. That's cool. Pleiades, yep, new Pleiades. Draw a card. Okay, that's kind of nice. And then he has Pleiades to bounce. Two back row. All right, that's pretty strong. I, however, have Shadal Fusion. Now, what do I start with? Um, I think I'm gonna go, oh, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna start with Shadal Fusion for Dragon. Send Dragon. Send Riliona. Assuming it resolves. Okay. Dragon will pop up back. Oh, god damn it. Huh. Alright. <laughs> Welcome back. Already misclicking. Okie doke. Construct one. Dragon two. Let's go that one. Sure. Alright. Well, that. Really throws a wrench in my plans. Baylor. Okay, that's whatever. What's that one then? What's that one all about then? Book of Moon. <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh, man. Alrighty. This is uh, certainly interesting. So now I can hound to, to flip the construct if I want. But I think I'm going to. Oh, right, then. Um, I don't fucking know. Um, if I hound a flip construct, and this is this is so whack. I can normal summon Link, add back Shadow Fusion. Uh, but then what? I think I just need to force the construct. I think I guess I guess I just get Wendy. Special dragon. Yeah, I think I just try and float a little bit. He has Razzle Hog in hand, I know that much, right? What's Razzle Hag do? Uh, I guess I'll just set another. Uh, Cause like, I could keep playing, but I just lose to the Pleiades bounce. This way it plays around it. So if he bounces my construct, he can't bounce both Squamata and Dragon, which out him. Yeah, if I kept the fucking million, God damn it. Whatever. Live and learn. So I get for playing too quick. Joss returns. So he's Razzle Hog. I don't know what that does really. Guess we'll find out here in a second. Oh, I guess it does tri trigger the level 5 guy, right? Yeah, it triggers the level 5 guy. And oh, so oh, I see, I see, I see. This skill is crazy. Literally, it just says, oh, you can do whatever you want with <laughs> They can be whatever. You can normal summon a level 5. You can make a rank 3 with 2 level 4. <laughs> like, what? Do whatever. I don't care. And Catechus. Caduceus. Caduceus effect. Summon. Okay. Now what? Castell. Right here then. Are you... Bro, this dude needs to read cards. All right. Well, I mean, I was probably winning that anyway. I don't know what he makes there. I'm just, I'm just like, because he can't out both of my guys, and then I'm outing his... 
either he bounces with Pleiades, and then I no longer have to out that, and I can out whatever level rank four he summons. Or I can bounce a back row in the battle phase. I don't know. That was a weird one. Whatever. Whatever. Let's do another. All right. Most of Trey. I love how Trey and Quentin have like actual names instead of three and five, and then Quattro is literally just four. <laughs> Trey, Quattro, and Quentin. Like actual names, and then literally just a number. Okay, so now when he goes to the gate, he can detach. You, oh, wait, what? Okay, never mind. Oh, okay. Never mind. I see. Schism. Hmm. Doll fusion would have been good, but whatever. Right then, let's go e Telly. I like that this uh, Shadal skill is universal too, so I can play it on whoever I want. My man Pegasus. Pemesis. Um, do I if I should, if I doll fusion and construct dies, then. I get that back, but I don't float with this one. Wait, hold on. Activates a monster effect, negate the activation. Does not destroy. Okay, I think I'm just gonna. Eh, I'm gonna do this one, because I can Dolph Fusion in the battle phase if I need to. And I have Schism. Wait, you gonna negate this or something? Oh, no. Oh, well, actually, you know what? No. Thankfully, I, uh. <laughs> Thankfully, I kept the El Shadal Fusion. That was worth. What? Crackdown number two? Okay, I was about to say. Ooh, I can't make construct. Fuck. Wait, I should have made a... Uh... That's right then. Um... Yeah, I guess I just go uh, Wendigo. What? This is too big. Yeah. And quick effect make himself huge. So, put this here. Wendy effect. Squamata effect. I like that it chains it that way for me. Pretty nice. Uh, send dragon. No, send hound. Uh, so this is once per turn the gate. So I can I can send hound summon hell should all. Trigger Hound to flip Helshadal. If he negates it, that's fine. If he negates Hound, that's fine. I make Gravity Controller. I add back Helshadal Fusion. I attack the Gravity and bounce. Yeah, so I'm going to send Hound here. Special Helshadal. Trigger Hound. This is why Hound's pretty cool. It's like a sendable AD changer. So he can make himself... 36 by quick effect attaching Utopia Ray, which is fine. What is that back row? Is it like Book of Moon or something? Hoping he gets this because then gravity controller resolves. Yeah, he kind of has to. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. In the gate. I'm going to do this just in case. I'm not really worried about it though. Okay, now I make gravity controller. Yeah. Now this can bounce, right? Yeah. Nice. Uh, I guess I can put back Wendigo, just in case. Uh, nah. I'm not gonna. Okay. He can quick effect to attach if he wants, but I don't really care about that. I can make Window on his turn. What is that back row? Okay. Okay, so the, the delay was always Vimana. And the damage step was just Vimana, so I don't think the 
back row has anything to do with the damage type. Okay. So I can... So I can window... Yeah, I can window on his turn. And then if he has something to deal with the window, I can summon... Quick effect summon... God damn it. I didn't have my top on. Um, it's Earth. Uh, let's, okay, so let's... Right, so I kind of messed up, so I want to try and correct it. If I had summoned window first... Oh, I could just summon... No. If I had summoned window first... Uh, I would have been able to prevent his Xyz summon. But, uh... Since I wasn't able to, I want to make Grista here. And now I go for El Shadal Fusion for Grista. And then I'm able to add back with Winda and turn on the, the Omni Negate for Grista. I think I put it here. Here. El Shadal Hollow effect and Window effect to add back El Shadal Fusion. And now that Grista Negate is live, if I send like Dragon, that would be lit. Oh, I hit Hedgehog. That's even better. And I hit Squamata. Oh my god. That mill off El Shadal. So good. Milled three because. It mills for every different attribute on the field, so there's an earth, a light, and a fire. So it milled three, so I get to send dragon, I get to add Wendy. I get to activate dragon to pop this, maybe force it. Oh man, it is a book of moon. Okay, well, we're not out of this yet, but I still have Winda. Or I still have Schism, I mean. So if he makes, like... I hit, yeah, I hit Riliona too, which is cool. Uh, yeah, cool. So, he gets to... I'm not dying here, definitely, because, like, the only really play Utopia. So he sends Mach Machu Mech, which makes him all level 5. He can make the Mana again if he wants, which he probably will, yeah. I'm just going to make Construct send the Mana normal Wendy attack for game. I'm pretty sure I win after that, so that's cool. Pretty sure I win, so I can just normal summon Wendy. And that'll be the game. Enter construct effect. Send hedgehog, hedgehog. Add dragon. Yeah, let's summon dragon, why not? Right, now just in case there's a battle blocker, I'm gonna keep the El Shadal. Okay, cool. The schism send is crazy. That was a weird one, but I think I played it right considering I, sh I, I had a feeling the back row was something like a book of moon or something to flip but i kind of played into it i messed up with the window i had if i had toggle on i could have summoned window before moai and then he wouldn't he would have to summon moai and he wouldn't be able to make an exceeds um but i tried to correct it with the grista oh well we got it there in the end let's do another all right i'm gonna see Bell. so it's probably that Bell neos or neos Bell deck that's Apparently it's tier two. It's crazy. Eternal bond or whatever. Okay. Which isn't terrible. And this. Uh, uh, hmm. Let's see. I think I get. Dolph use. Hmm. Let's do this. So I'm going to keep the Shadolf fusion for follow up. Let's make it here. El Shadolf construct. I think I just have schism. Because it's a U Bell deck. So I think I just have schism. Make gravity. So I want to be able to send uh, Kluger or Ubel. Schism. I think that's right. 
And then if he has a way to play through that, then I have Shadal Fusion for follow-up. I think that's right. Oh, what the heck. I love this deck so much. I don't know why. I love Sacred Beasts, even though they're, they're not good. We're getting a new card in Phantom, Night Fight Phantom Nightmare in the TCG, which is really cool. Okay, um, I think I just send this because it gets rid of his additional normal summon. Maybe that's enough, unless he has the spirit gates already. Wait, do we even have that in this game? No, right? Yeah, okay, scoop. <laughs> okay. Two really quick ones. I don't know why I scoop though, because I feel like people always forget that I can't attack directly with the monster or summon off schisms. So, like I still have to put up three thousand damage, which is, can be kind of hard. But I guess I no, I guess I had shit off fusion, so I, I was winning. Yeah, shit off fusion, fuse with Winda and Reliona, and then um, then what? Send send Hedgehog add. Yeah, okay, there it is. All right, up against Bonk Stone. Go to Horny Jail, bonk. Oh no, wait around. Rank up again, nice. Going second. It's always pretty decent if I draw shot off fusion. No, wait, well, this hand's pretty solid anyway. We'll musket pass. Deceptively strong. Uh, Reliona. Reliona to start. Does he have the cross domination? Oh, Desperado. Uh, do I care? Or can I just click effects? Mm. Fuck it. I want to keep the light. If he gets rid of this, I get rid of I lose construct. Uh, this and this, yeah. Construct. This is Searcher Summon. Add, okay. Oh. It's fine, you can't... Okay, so he didn't already have the cross down. There it is. I'm going to... Summon this. I guess I'll send Schism. There's nothing else good to send because I already have everything. Activate Invocation. I can summon Winda here, which is cool. Trigger Hound to flip Hell to bait the Cross Dom. stand or something. Okay. Hound and Hedgehog. Hound effect. Target. Hedgehog effect. Hound is pretty good. I like Hound. Uh, I guess I'll get Dargan. Uh. I guess I'll get Dargan. Flip, Hell Should All, Effect, Target Casper. To banish it, force it across Dom. Not quite lethal. I don't, think I don't think there's a way to get lethal here. Oh, he's letting it happen. Okay. Well, now I just went. Why? Why did he do that? Okay. <laughs> well, anyway. So that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed Undefeated, although it is in gold. So uh, take that with a grain of salt, I guess. But, I mean, we played some solid decks, um, more or less. Um, the deck is very fun. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Let's, I mean, we have the list right there, but let's just go over it again. Uh, I believe negative one was playing like this. Uh, related cards. Nope. Not the one. Uh, three shadow games. I think he was playing three crackdown, but I don't have three crackdown. 
So you could play like, I, don't, I guess there's not really a substitute for Crackdown, but Ice Dragons is pretty strong. Yeah, Ice Dragons is pretty strong. Where is mine? Where is it? Uh, you could play three Ice Dragons. Uh, and then he was like, he didn't have this. Those, I think he had two Invocation. Uh, and two Falco. Yeah. So is this? Um, yeah, I think he was playing the Wendigo. Our loss. Wait. I was. And Arcanite. I don't know how he makes Arcanite. I guess with Winda. Falco plus Winda makes Arcanite. Kind of neat. Pretty sure this was his. Oh, he's playing Super Poly too, right? Uh, where's my Super Poly? Super de duper Poly. One. Limit ones. Limit ones. Where are you at? Goddamn. Oh, there it is. Um, so that was um, negative ones list. Uh, except crackdowns instead of ice dragons um, but I, I I don't know I think traps are always pretty good with Shadals just because they can play a bit slower and like play a really grindy control game because they float a lot and then just like use your fusions as power pushes so it'd be like a 32 card deck which is kind of big but I guess it works um, so that's going to do it for the video guys I hope you all enjoyed um, I'm going to be doing Cosmo and Magical Musketeer uh, eventually. I don't have a lot of time, but when I can. So catch you on the next one. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, enjoy your coffees, or whatever you're drinking. Enjoy the rest of your days. Peace.